Guys, I have some disturbing, disturbing news. Last night, <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never had such a terrifying dream. Oh yeah, I have. This one feels like I'm still in it. So. <sighs> this is really gonna happen. I don't care what you guys say, but this is going to happen. <laughs> Last night I had, I mean, just now, this morning, I'm sorry, this morning, we're in August 26, 2016. I woke up this morning and I just woke up right now. It's like 5:50. I woke up at 5:33 and I can't I can't go back to sleep. I had to record this before. I forget. I had a dream. And I mean I had a dream. You cannot Last night, I mean yesterday, um, I went into fasting and praying. I mean, I'm still doing it right now. I haven't stopped. It's been, I'm on my second day fasting and praying. But before I went to bed last night, I asked God. I said, Lord, I know... Something is about to happen. I don't know when. I don't know why. But I know it's, it has to happen. Because what's going on in this world. And every day is something. Every day is some type of bad news. Earthquake. Tornado. War. Rumors of war. You know. Someone bombing one another. It's just every day. So. I know the end is near. I know it is. So I ask God, you know, Lord, can you please show me what's what's supposed to happen in the near future? What's about to happen, like, immediately, soon? And this is what... I'm still shaking, you guys. I'm still shaking. I went into a dream. It was like a normal day, whatever, and... It's like an everyday, normal day, and it was a part, it was a big celebration, it was big, big celebration, they were celebrating, <sighs> and the person I saw that was celebrating was Hillary Clinton, Hillary, <sighs> Hillary was given a crown, you guys. They were giving her gifts here and there. They gave her this special diamond ring. They gave her jewelries. They, she was just being given a bunch of gifts. And that one gift startled me. And it was a crown. They gave her a crown in her head. And she was so ecstatic, so excited. And my thoughts, I was like, why is she giving a crown? Like, why are they giving her a crown? She was given a crown, you guys. And as soon as she was given a crown, I was, I went home, uh, I don't know. I went home and, um, 
was like a big feeling in my heart something was about to happen. I was so terrified. I was so upset. And I went home and I told my husband, an asteroid is coming. I don't even know how I knew an asteroid was coming. But you can see it in the sky. You can see it. It was, it was coming from space. You can just see it. It was getting closer and closer. It was... First, it was a tiny little rock you can see from space near the stars and it would just get closer and closer and I'm like telling everybody I'm telling I'm warning as many people as I can look an asteroid is coming an asteroid is coming and nobody believed me and I'm like how could you guys be so blind it's in the sky you can literally see this and I'm trying to convince my husband let's leave he lives, you know, he's originally from Austria and Vienna, Austria, Vienna. So I was like, let's let's buy a let's buy five tickets for me, you and the girls so we can get out of here. Let's just get out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. Let's go stay with your mom for a little bit. Let's, you know, let's get out of this country. I want to go, I want to go to Europe. <laughs> I was like, I want to leave. I don't want to stay here. This asteroid is going to hit the the East Coast, you know. It's going to hit, and I know it's coming, and he didn't believe me, and as he was arguing with me, I showed him out, I look, I showed him outside, and I, I point right at the asteroid, it was so close, it was getting ready to hit the water, we didn't have no time to go anywhere, and I was like, okay, let's go to Alabama, let's drive up to Alabama, and just stay there, we have one more day, and he was like, Mm, no, I don't believe it. Even though the asteroid was right there, he can see it. You can literally, literally see it. It was so big. I mean, you guys, this asteroid was so big. Oh my god. It was so big. trying to leave like we was trying to leave and this asteroid came out of nowhere and I was trying to leave I didn't I didn't get to leave on time and all I know is it came it came so fast it hit the water it hit the, it hit the ocean the coast and a few minutes later like I would say like 10 15 minutes later a big tsunami came it was so big. <laughs> I'm still shaking because I can still feel this thing. It was a big tsunami. A humongous tsunami came. And all I know is I look outside. I was somehow transferred into a house, a, a glass house. And I can see everywhere. I can see the fishes. I saw that we were underwater, like literally, I saw everything, I saw, I, my daughter and I got up, she's only three, and she was, we were underwater, like, I can look up in this glass house, I don't even have a glass house, I don't even know why I was able to see through this entire glass house, this whole glass, this house was just glass, and And I'm like in shock. I'm in shock. I'm like looking at this. I'm just looking at this glass house. I saw fishes all around us. You can just see we're underwater, you guys. And somehow my daughter was able to open the door. And no water came in. I don't know why. I don't know. I can't. I have no explanation why there was no water able to come in. And there were people, we were somehow able to breathe the water. I can like 
go out there and breathe the water and the water would not come in the house <laughs> and um and they were like people <sighs> like I rescued some people I don't know I don't know if I was able to rescue people but they they came knocking on the door and we were underwater I, I didn't get that I, I didn't get that we were underwater and they came knocking on the door and it was like I think it was my my sister or something or it was saying those are just the surviving people and my husband shut the door on them and told them what's going on I don't understand how are we still alive I couldn't explain how we were still alive when we had a tsunami and all the houses, the whole, you guys, Florida's going to be gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, Florida is going to be underwater. We are going to be underwater. You can literally see up in the, in your ceiling where we're underwater, at least 20 foot underwater. We, we were underwater. <laughs> we were underwater. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my lord. <sighs> I'm still shaking. I'm still shaking. I'm still shaking. <sighs> and I woke up and I was talking to God and I was like, Lord, this is going to happen, huh? And it was like a straight answer, yes. And I was like, why did I see Hillary in my dream during this disaster? And it was like, because it's going to be around the time she is crowned. I was like, crowned? <laughs> you guys. In Revelation, it talks about the beast and him crowning the beast is going to crown her she's one of the rulers of the ten continents I, I, she's one of the rulers you guys it's going to be her what does this mean um, she's going to be the president of the United States or something I don't know she's going to have She's going to be crowned to rule America. It's going to be her. It's it's going to be Hillary, you guys. I, I, I do not wish to report this. This is not something I, I want to report, but this is what I saw. This is exactly what I just dreamed right now. It's more like a vision. Because I asked God to show me. I wanted to see. I wanted to see everything. And I'm sorry, but this is what I saw. I can't explain the ending of this dream because we were able to breathe the water. And it was funny because it was like a paradise underwater. It was so beautiful down there. You can see the water. You can see the ocean. You can breathe down there. And that was confusing. But in my dream, all I kept saying was the tsunami happened. It happened. It happened. But I live underwater. And I'm on other people that were able to breathe underwater. I cannot explain that part. But, oh my God. I'm sorry. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. And I'm doing this recording. It's like five something. Almost six o'clock. I think it's already six. <laughs> but, oh Lord. I'm sorry. I had to I had to record this. This was an urgent, urgent message. I mean I had to record this, you guys. I haven't been recording anything because I haven't I haven't been able to remember my dream. The last dream I had was a rapture dream. I, I'm gonna add this into this. It was like two weeks ago. I had this rapture dream and people 
we, uh, our body, it was a quick dream. I couldn't remember everything, but all I remember was it was out, it was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day, and people were out and about doing everything they supposed to be doing, and out of nowhere, this rapture happened, and you can just see people leaving, like disappearing, like gone, and their body changed, like everybody changed into this glowing or or orbital like light bright 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 light and they all went up in the sky it was like a million millions of people up in the sky and i was watching this one person leave i've already left but i can see what was going on in the crowd and this one person was leaving and he turned around and he combust like turn into dust like you can just see how he just combusts because he turned around like that, like um, Exodus on Lot when um, when when Isaac asks God if he can save, you know, some people and Sodom and Gomorrah, and that one person. I mean, when 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 the angels went to go get Lot and his family, his wife turned around and she turned into you know she she died she turned into dust whatever it was like that the minute he turned around he was the only one too he turned around he was leaving he was going up in the rapture but he was leaving and then he didn't I guess he didn't want to leave somebody behind and he turned around and he died like he turned into ashes and just died disappeared <laughs> and then this lady came outside started screaming she was just screaming what is wrong with you guys do you not see what is going on they are leaving you you guys are being left behind this is the rapture this is the rapture this is what she was saying to everyone and people was just like this like ugh, they about to lose it like like they they they, they were just standing there watching as people were just leaving we were leaving and they were just standing there watching and that lady was going ballistic screaming this is the rapture you guys are being left behind you guys are being left behind and then I woke up from that dream this was two weeks ago this dream I had two weeks ago I don't know I don't know why I didn't record it but I don't know, I just felt like I needed to record it with this dream that I just had. You guys, the rapture is near. And so is this chaos that's about to happen. This asteroid. There's an asteroid coming. There's a major asteroid coming. Pray about it. I did. This was from a prayer and a fasting that I was doing. I'm sorry, you guys, but you believe what you want to believe. I know what I just saw, and I know what's coming. This is what God wanted me to know. That's coming. It's coming.